You can find links to all of my social media as well as my Patreon, Discord, and tip video playlist down below in the description. If you guys do enjoy this video or would like to see more operator related lists, let me know by leaving a comment down below on your thoughts. Also, while you're down there, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe to the channel as it helps out more than you think it does. Today, I'm going to be going over the top five best operators in Rainbow Six Siege, in my opinion. I will review their gadgets, weapons, speed, and whatever else they bring for the team. Without wasting any time, let's jump right into our first operator on this list, Maverick. He is the strongest hard breacher in the game. He bypasses all wall denial utility. It doesn't matter if it's a bandit battery, mute jammer, or a cade. It does not have any effect on his gadget whatsoever, which is why he's so strong. He is almost solely independent as a hard breacher. You can maverick a wall soft and have a soft breacher open said wall and boom, you have an open wall. He skips the steps of removing or disabling the wall denial utility from the defenders. His blowtorch has almost endless ways you could use it during a round. You can open a reinforced hatch, a reinforced wall, make rotates in a reinforced wall make rotates in the soft wall if it's needed. He can do all of these things with ease, especially with the fact that he just got an extra canister to his blowtorch. It allows him to have even that much more influence during a round to do what he needs to do. Also, what a lot of people don't use his blowtorch for is destroying maestro cams or shields or any other bulletproof utility. He can destroy just about anything during a round. Now, most of the time you won't be in the position to actually use his blowtorch up close, but that's where his frag grenades come into play. Not only is he the strongest hard breacher in the game, but he also has frag grenades he can use to destroy said maestro cams or shields. He is one of the most dense utility operators on the attacking side of Rainbow Six Siege, and is most definitely the strongest hard breacher. His utility combined with the fact that he is a 3-speed, which allows him to move around the map with speed and efficiency to get to the locations he is needed. Now, even though he is considered a hard breacher, that should not mean he isn't able to take a gunfight or two when it's needed. With his M4 combined with his 1911 sidearm, it allows him to drop his enemies with precision and effectiveness. In my opinion, I think Mav's M4 is one of the best guns in the game. And before Ubisoft took his ACOG away, it was like playing Ash in 2020. The only downside to Maverick, in my opinion, is he has a different learning curve compared to other operators as using his gadget to open a wall takes practice and time. But don't allow that to scare you away, as learning how to play Maverick is actually much more simple than you think it is. Just spend 20 minutes or so in a custom game with a friend, and practice making a wall soft or opening a hatch. The next operator I want to discuss is Tachanka. And even though he isn't in the game yet, I still believe with the short time we have played him on the test server, shows that he will have a huge impact during the round as well as the prep phase on defense. With Tachanka getting his new rework, introducing the fire grenade launcher as well as his lightweight machine gun, it brings a whole new dynamic that is like nothing we have ever seen in Rainbow Six Siege until now. Yes, Tachanka is comparable to Smoke, but I believe that with his ability that the grenade launcher has with being able to be shot in directions across the map, or being able to bounce them off of a wall, brings a different mechanic to the game. Not only can this grenade launcher deny default plant locations, but it can also deny specific parts of a map that is used a lot from the attackers to rotate around that map. Using this launcher from complete safety most of the time allows Tachanka to not only stay alive longer, but have a huge impact during a round. In combination to the brand new grenade launcher, I also mentioned his new primary LMG, which is not only great for mowing down his enemies, but also allows him to have a huge part in soft destruction during a map. He can make rotates, kill holes, and even lines of sight. Pretty much any shotgun can do what his LMG can do, which is a huge buff and is something we haven't seen any assault rifle or machine gun do while being efficient at it. While his grenade launcher is very strong by itself, you can combine it with his barbed wire or proximity alarm, which allows you to get information in an area and use his grenade launcher in that area to deal damage or even kill an enemy. Overall, I think Tachunk is one of the strongest defenders in Rainbow Six Siege, as well as one of the most universal in terms of using his utility in most situations. Keeping the defensive operators in this discussion, I want to explain why I think Wamai is also a very strong and important operator to play. Wamai is an operator very similar to Jaeger, except for the fact that he denies all throwable and projectile utility in the game, as Jaeger does not deny Capital fire bolts or smokes. Similar to Maverick, Wamai has a learning curve that is much harder compared to other operators in the game, in my opinion. But once you learn how to place his magnets properly, you will make the attacker's job a living hell. Not only does Wamai have five magnets that 
that generate as the round progresses, but he also brings the strongest piece of secondary utility in the game right now, which is the deployable shield. Combine Wamai's primary gadget with the shield and it will make holding down an area of the map just that much easier. Not only does he bring a shield and denies all air travel utility in the game, but he also has one of the strongest defender guns right now. The AUG A2 does 42 damage per bullet at a range of 25 meters, which makes his gun better than Jaeger's on paper. Well, Mai's gun with his utility, as well as the fact that he is a two armor, two speed, makes him a perfect operator to pre-fire and make sure the attackers have to claw their way to gaining map control wherever he might play. Flipping the coin here to the attacking operators, I want to talk about the operator sledge. He is currently the 6th most played operator in plat and above elo on PC according to Season 2 of Year 5 in Siege. Now, Buck would be in the spot that Sledge is in, but ever since he lost his frag grenades, I think that Sledge has claimed his right to be in the top 5. Not only does his sledgehammer have 25 hits on it, but he also has one of the most consistent guns on attack, the L85A2 and the SMG11. His ability to do his job with destroying any soft walls or floors that may be in his way in combination to use those frag grenades to relocate or push defenders from their positions makes him one of the best vertical operators to play in Rainbow Six Siege. Sledge and Buck are very similar in the fact that they both are a two-speed, two-armor operator, while the only advantage Buck has over Sledge in terms of utility is the fact that Buck is able to destroy soft ceilings above him as he pleases. While Buck has this ability, Sledge has workarounds he can do, such as boosting atop of desks or furniture in a room to sledge the ceiling or even use his frag grenades cooked and thrown at the right moments, allow him to open up parts above him. And last but not least, I want to explain why I think Maestro is one of the best operators in Rainbow Six Siege currently. Starting off with Maestro's primary gadget, the Evil Eye. It has the ability to destroy any utility such as drones, gridlocks, exothermic charges, and pretty much anything else you can think of. As well as, it deals 5 damage per zap to any enemy. While being bulletproof and mobile, the Maestro cam placed properly can have a huge impact during a round, feeding you and your team constant and accurate information. As well as feeding information, the Maestro cam is able to see through any smoke in the game, which takes away the element of surprise that the attackers might think they have. Even though Maestro may seem like an operator to bring solely for his gadget alone, does not mean he can't shoot back. With the Maestro's Alda being one of the best guns in all of Siege, with having 81 bullets with a very high fire rate allows him to pre-fire and pressure the enemies wherever he may get into a gunfight. In combination with this primary, he can either bring the Keratos or the Bailiff. Bringing the Bailiff allows him to make rotates and other lines of sight for his Maestro cams to even be more effective during a round. And for his secondary utility, he has a choice between barbed wire or an impact grenade. Looking at Maestro as a whole package, he is one of my most played and favorite operators on the defense side of Rainbow Six each. Let me know what you think of him in the comments below. While you're down there, let me know how you guys enjoyed this style of video. If you did, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe to the channel for similar content to this video. As I said at the beginning of the video, there are links to all of my social media as well as my Patreon, Discord, and tip video playlist down below in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.